find cos 120 to find this we should follow this method c here we have 120 now you should check 120 lies between which two multiples of 180 what i mean is 120 lies between 0 and 180 this is 180 into 0 this is 180 into 1 between these two numbers 120 lies next 120 is close to which number this is close to 180 so 120 now should be written as 180 minus 60 so this will become cos in place of this we write this 180 minus 60 this is your step 1 next cos in place of 180 now I write 1 into 180 minus 60 next here we have 180 so cos is not going to change it will remain cos and inside we get this angle 60 now the question is will we get here plus or minus to answer that we should look at the number before 180 that is 1 and 1 is odd and all the odd multiples of 180 they lie in either in the second or in the third quadrant so now to select the quadrant we should look at this symbol here we have negative that means angle lies in the second quadrant and in the second quadrant cos is negative so we should put negative so negative cos 60 is 1 by 2 this is our answer